I'm going to try to do a quick review of some coiling tools. Uh, the tools that I got here are the Coil Master and the Curo Concepts. Here they are the Coil Master, the Curo Concepts. I'm going to be using the 28 gauge nichrome. Now I'm going to go into what comes in each one. Coil Master. I just got this today, so I haven't really gone through it. It does have a neat little pouch, which I do like. There's uh, the main handle. And it comes with a neat little screwdriver. There's the handle. Now, it looks like the handle has a screw on top here. Which I assume holds the post. And it's got some different size posts. So each post, there's, I guess there's two posts with each end piece. Uh, and I guess each post will go on uh, one side that it fits. So there's different hole, size holes drilled out on either side. This is 35, this, I guess that's 3.5 millimeter, and this is 4. And there's some more here. This would be 3 and 2.5. their respective posts. And there's one more. I assume it's two and two point five, but we'll see. Oh, it's two and one point five. So I think what I'll do is show you the Curo Concepts kit now. Curo Concepts, this is the case it comes with. I keep it in the case, keep everything organized. And it also came with a little mini screwdriver. handle and this one does not have any kind of the screw piece that you saw with the coil master and this one comes with three adapters that go on the posts a what they call it two a one and another two but they'll have size holes, you can barely tell. And the posts range from I think 1.5, let's see here. 1 to 3.5. See if I can get this in the picture here. They're shorter than the Coil Master posts. Uh, anyway. It's written right there. Now you can see the 1.0. So I've used this one before, and I know that they just, just slide in, they just sit right in here. They're not held in place by anything. And this one is the 2.5. I'm going to use the 
three, I believe, and I'll do one coil with the three on the Kiro Concepts and one coil with the three on the Coil Master. Let's see how that goes. Alright, I'm going to start with some Nichrome 80 28 gauge wire. Kiro Concepts coiler with 3 ohm, or 3 ohm, a 3 millimeter diameter post. To first you feed your wire, this little hole here. You can see it right there. Feed your wire through there and it comes out the top. And I'll feed all but about two inches or so and hold that tight and I'll start the wrap and do like two wraps to get it started here and I'm gonna go kinda tight but still leaving a tiny little gap and you kinda have to focus on what you're doing, you can't just let it go, you just coil without watching what you're doing because otherwise it'll overlap and then or get too tight. You can really get a nice spaced coil if you watch what you're doing. The, the nice thing about using a coiler is that when you're using your hands, you might be putting twists in the wire, whereas this just lets the wire kind of free and twist up on you. So that is even with the other side here. And then I just pull out the end and then pull the coil off the post. So this is what I ended up with. So it's not very pretty at the moment, but once you apply a little bit of heat to it, you can spread it out, make it nice, nicely spaced. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the coil master. Now I'm not familiar with as much with this one. Marked on the ends. Yeah, I probably won't be able to see this. Yeah, it's upside down. There you go. Barely see it. Alright, so let's see. I suppose the end of this goes here. Totally guessing here. I didn't read any instructions, so I st stuck the fat end of the post through here. Screw this in here. It's pretty solid. I like how it's got a longer post here, and it doesn't fall out on you. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same thing, feed my wire through. Now it's got two holes in it, I'm not sure why 
I'll have to look on some more YouTube videos and see if somebody else has some ideas as to why. Oh, well, maybe it's because you can go two different directions on your coil. So you can get a mirror image of a dual coil, one on one side of your RDA and then one on the other. Alright. Cool. So now um, we'll do the same thing. I'll start a couple of wraps. Now, this one also has a hole in the end that looks like for wire. But maybe it's just for another screw, I'm not sure. My wire doesn't go in there. Alright, so let's try this. short here. Oh. I might have gone too short on this one. See, it's still not pretty, but you know what? I think I, I like this one better than the Kiro Concepts with the longer post, and it's kept in place by this cap. That's pretty cool. So I guess I'm going to load it up, and we'll try a fire and see how it goes. Okay, I have finished coiling and installed both of them on my SX Mini in my troll deck. Fire up. I'd say they get pretty hot pretty and they start in the middle. Not bad. I'll take it. Now wick it and vape it and see how that works. How that works. Right. It's wicked with cotton bacon. Like a little air space down in the center. Get air all the way around through 60. I'm gonna juice it up with some grape ape. Because I'm a big grape fan. I'm going to go with 39 joules. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's chuck the cap on here and see how she tastes. a little higher nick that's <clears throat> hard on the throat hit not bad so you can do the same clothes with both tools uh, but after my experience with the longer posts on the coil master and the way it secures the post to the cap I'm going to prefer the coil master it cost me I think 30 bucks for the coil master and the curo tool was like 20 or 20 something. Um, I'd say it's worth the extra bucks for the Bullmaster. Thanks for watching.